The Click Empire has released 36 videos since CSGO last received an update worth covering. So let's go read some patch notes. As expected, they have fixed a spawn bug in competitive mode, which I covered just a few days ago on this channel. I can't say how they fixed it, but I can say how they haven't fixed it. The maps haven't been changed, and when you're picking your team and all that, your view will still go to where the view control entities are on the level. So it's just where your player actually spawns after reconnecting to a server that has been fixed, which is good because that's the proper fix and should apply to all levels from now on. This should cut down on the amount of spawn abuse that we see, but I have been told today that there are still ways for more devoted cheaters to use to teleport to wherever they want to, so this might not be the end of it. And the other exploit they've attempted to fix is to disable the CL show pause command, unless cheats are enabled. This command displays your position and angle on screen. This has numerous benefits. It can help you to line up very exact pre-planned grenade throws, and also the CL show pause command lets you line up exact angles for stunts like this, which Burke here used to pixel jump onto this box just here. Disabling CL show pause doesn't stop you from doing these things, but does disable a very powerful and easy way of doing them quickly and effectively. We will now need to use your surroundings to line things up, just as Gabe intended. Well done to Sponge for pointing this exploit out. Normally, people like being shouted out by Valve in the patch notes, but in Sponge's case, it might not have been such a good thing, as it appears that some people were fond of this feature. I hope Sponge hasn't received anything nasty, but he did feel the need to tweet about it, showing the message he sent off to Valve in the name of transparency. He didn't ask for it to be banned, he merely wanted clarification on if this feature should be allowed in professional matches. Well, I guess he got his answer. If you're playing a normal match, the pistol rounds have one loss bonus per side, meaning that whichever team loses the pistol round will get 500 more than normal to get them back on their feet again for the second round. This has been upped to two for short games and short games only. So it now looks like this when one team wins the pistol round. The reasons for this whole mess date back quite a long way, because short games didn't used to be a thing, nor did the loss bonuses in the form that we have them today. But to summarise, clearly losing the pistol round in a shorter match with fewer rounds per side dictated the game's outcome too greatly, so Valve has reduced the financial punishment that the losing team receives. If you want my opinion on this, I don't see why they couldn't also apply this change to longer matches, where it's the same problem but to a lesser extent. But I guess we'll see what happens. There's a new sticker collection, which is fine. You can see them all here, and they're all currently available for easy inspection from CSGO's main page, but in case you're watching this video from the year 2027 or whenever, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can easily inspect them all in-game. There was a Molotov throw on Vertigo that would set fire to the room below it, causing harm to players it really shouldn't have been able to reach. Valve has fixed this by adding grenade clipping to the rebar on the floor above. But this doesn't fully address the issue either, it seems. And they've updated AR Shoots. And the changes to this map are subtle to say the least. It's apparent that it's been rendered with slightly different lighting settings, the distant trees don't cast shadows anymore, making them stand out more easily against the landscape, and a clip brush has been applied to these rafters, presumably to fix dodgy collision where people's faces will get stuck inside them or something. But yeah, subtle changes, and the vague patch notes to describe it makes me think that Shoots may have received other small changes over the years, and only now have the developers bothered to update it in-game. Valve are continuing to gear up for the Steam Deck's release by optimising CSGO's controls and menus for the device's many quirks. I believe this applies to the UI changes in this update as well. Like I've said before, it's very important for Valve that their own games work well with the Steam Deck. Even a game like CSGO, which you'd think would be the worst sort of game imaginable to use with a controller. And last, there was also a fear that this update broke the bind that makes your character scream in pain. But it's still there, renamed as something else, proving once and for all that CSGO is pay to wine. All it requires you to do is to create a new bind. It isn't hard, so get up and keep these characters coming on radio. Actually, there is another last thing. Thank you to everybody who voted me Community Member of the Year for the sixth year in a row over on the Global Offensive subreddit. I have to admit I haven't been so active there recently, as the focus has shifted more towards the pro scene, which doesn't overlap with my own content too much. But it's lovely to still have the support from the community there, and the many kind comments that I received meant a lot to me, and help give meaning to what I do in my room on my computer screen. So thank you.